Hey, resellers, <laughs> I'm Rebecca, and you are watching Rebecca the Reseller. Thanks for joining me today. I'm completely a flutter for this What Sold video because I got a brand new computer and I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. It's I've needed one for a while, but I was putting it off because I thought I was going to get a Mac and I thought that was going to help me with videos and I could use iMovie and I could just do all these things. And the more I kind of looked into it, I'm like, I am not a technology person, so to completely change how I compute would probably be a major disaster and like take me off of line for weeks. So I went with um, a not Mac, what is that, a PC? And it's the HP Spectre and I'm super excited about it. It's going well so far. I'm like slowly transitioning from my old computer and a lot of other transitions are happening right now. I will be sharing more about that very soon. But so bear with me on this video. I have everything up. You should be able to see me and my screen. I really hope this works. Um, so just, I don't know. But this is a what's old video. I'm happy to see you here. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe so we can hang out again. And I promise next time I'll be better versed at this computer and like this video during the video so that YouTube will tell other resellers about it. <laughs> go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know how your sales were so far this week. So um, I've been doing what sold videos now every two weeks and in this last two week period, a lot of changes have happened and I haven't really been able to track everything like I normally do. My inventory and sales spreadsheet basically went completely out the window. Um, and so I will be sharing more with you about the future of this channel, the future of my reselling business. As I finish everything up, all those announcements will come next week. So. I think it's Sunday, August 2nd. I'm not sure if I'll do a recorded video or a live, but that's when I'm gonna share everything that's going on and what's happening. But if you follow me on Instagram or even here on YouTube, you'll know that I did kind of like a Poshmark closet liquidation um, and it went really well. And I will probably do a video specifically about it because what I did was a build your own reseller box sale. And I have some thoughts as usual. So I'll share that in a separate video. I'm not gonna include any of those sales in what I'm gonna show you today. Um, Cause I just, all I could do was go through my sales and pick out the top one. So these are top selling items by dollar value. And then like a couple of notes, a couple of bundles, but they have nothing to do with the build your own reseller box because I wasn't selling any of them at a loss. There was a tiny profit, but that's not your typical sale. Like that's other resellers buying my stuff and they're not buying them at the full price. So like I wasn't going to share that, but I did put here that I had a $700 day. And if you know, I've been on a quest to have a $500 day. And so for the first time I had a $700 day, but this is where things can get misleading, right? Cause you watch resellers and they say, Oh, I did X amount of dollars in a day, but you have no idea what their profit was on that $700 day. I don't know what the exact profit is at this point, but I can tell you that it's not my normal kind of profit because I was selling to resellers. I was selling at a super duper discount. And so it's not the same thing. So beware when you see those high revenue numbers, because that doesn't mean that person's making a whole lot of money. <laughs> so let's, dive in to the sales that I have to show you. All of these are pretty good sales. These happened over the last two weeks. I don't even know what the dates are. I am completely, like I said, befuddled. So I'm going to figure out how to move me over here. Hopefully this is all working. I'm going to move me, maybe I'll move me here and I'm going to make me smaller. Sorry guys. I'm also trying to operate without a mouse because Geo is going to get my old computer and I want him to have the mouse because he's gonna you know, wanna start doing computer things and he's so excited, oh my God. Okay, so let's dive in. So one of the, I had a lot of sales at the $29 price point this time around. So one of them was this Banana Republic faux leather shift dress, size zero, recently listed, looks like from April. I don't have all of my like how many days to sell because again, my inventory sheet went out the window. So it's obviously from per, perhaps sometime in April. <laughs> <laughs> it sold for $29 and I'm pretty sure that that was a full price sale. Again, these are all Poshmark sales. I am selling well on ThreadUp and I'm also selling on Mercari and I'll figure out a way at some point to update you on that kind of stuff. But right now this is just Poshmark things. Um, then this vintage Lauren Ralph Lauren silk blouse with the crest, um, really nice very soft, very cool, sold for full price for $29. I 
feel like I should have listed it for more, but whatever. This was great. So a bundle of three Eileen Fisher organic cotton teas. So I got all of these from a bulk purchase of pre-owned items and all three were in the same size, of course, all three were the same exact thing. And I love that. I love when I can get something that I can bundle. I'm really into that right now. It's going really well. And I will tell you, some people put lot of three bundle of three, three shirts, like people word it differently. I've worded it differently over the years. What I found, I've never had more success than I have in the most recent weeks with bundles. I think people just want a good deal, but I did bundle all in caps with colon, semicolon, whatever it is. I think it's a colon. Um, and then parentheses three. So how many items and then what it is. And that has worked. And then in the description, I put bundle includes three shirts. Like just the first thing off the bat is like, yes, it's three shirts. It's not pick one. It's not whatever. It's you're getting three shirts. That way they know why it's so expensive. So I thought this went really well. This I think was a sale like um, I probably had it up for 49 and either they offered me 41 or it was some X amount of discount offer to Likers thing. So I thought that was a really great sale. They got three shirts for $41. I made a great profit on that and I felt like that was good. Um, okay. So this is one of my boutique items, boutique, boutique, refer to a prior video for that whole debacle, but <laughs> I'll do my best. Um, so it's a brand new item. It's from the manufacturer. It's part of my boutique and it is this really awesome tie dye maxi dress, like caftan swim cover up, beach cover up. There's lots of words that you can use. As you know, I shoved them all in there and this has been selling really well. I've restocked it several times. I'm going to keep restocking it. it just is going well. So this sold for full price. I have it up for $39 and it sold for full price for $39, which was fantastic. These are clearly out of order as far as price goes. I'm sorry. I don't know why my links just kind of opened all haphazard probably due to my error, but whatever. This I wanted to show because it was a nice boutique jewelry bundle. And so I love this jewelry collection that I've now created um, with some very kind of boho type items. Um, you know, I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I don't even have my wedding ring on. <laughs> I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I'm not a big jewelry person, but for some odd reason, I do enjoy picking it out. And I feel like while I have picked out some non-sellers and some nonsense stuff. I have picked out some really good things that are continuing to sell over and over again. I'm getting them at a great price. I'm making a great profit. They're great things that people can bundle. And I've had several big bundles. And here's a five, is it five pieces? One, two, three, five, five piece bundle. Um, and you know, it worked out really, really well. So like I said, I keep promising that I am going to share more content on boutique. It just, there's a lot to it. I don't want to share everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I do, but I, I need to be careful because I don't want to completely ruin what I'm doing because right now I'm relying on that to be a big part of my business. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to communicate and honestly, like what topics make sense. Like it's hard, you know, with Poshmark, there's specific things that you can talk about with this. I feel like it's different because it's not really brands. It's not really you know, it's not the same as thrifted items. So it's coming. I am working on it. I really am excited to share it. I just have to figure out the best way to do it. And so I've been taking a lot of notes and trying to make it make sense. So anyway, this was a five piece bundle and it was, um, you know, a $65 bundle. I made $52 on it minus cost of goods. And that was fantastic. So I did want to share that. And that was not part of my like reseller box that was prior to that. This was a great sale. New Tags Brooke Brothers, non-iron stretch shirt. I've been having a real hard time with Brooks Brothers. I think we just got the news recently that they're doing their whole bankruptcy, whatever, along with 85 million other companies. Um, so we'll see what happens, but 30 bucks, maybe good, maybe not good, but I was happy with it. So that was a, neat, a decent sale. Here is another one of my boutique items. This is part of my swimsuit line, collection, whatever, the ones I've picked out. And <laughs> this seems to be the best seller. And I try to reorder it and I can't. So I'm kind of bummed because I'm going to be selling through probably the last of them. And then there goes that idea. Um, and so then I'll have to completely start from scratch with 
sourcing new styles and taking the gamble. Now, I feel like I've learned a lot more now than I did in the beginning. So I definitely would be doing it differently. And that's kind of the stuff that I want to share is like the lessons learned so that it can save you time and effort and money when trying out boutique items. But I'm kind of bummed because this one is going to be <clears throat> going away soon. But it's sold on an offer to likers, a 10% offer. So it's up usually for 29 and it's sold for 26. This is another boutique item in my swimsuit line. This I still have a good amount of, but I've reordered this several times as well. Um, and this has gone really well. So this is probably the other best seller. Um, it's this black sheer floral print boho kimono duster. You can wear it, um, you know, with swimsuit or you could even wear it like as just normal. Um, it's really cute. So that was a good sale. And then Jay McLaughlin, I've had trouble with her stuff. Um, I have heard about her. Most specifically, I think I probably found out about her from Erin Hall, Oscillady. I loved watching her channel in the very beginning. I think she's hysterical. <laughs> I know that she's got some great new stuff that she's doing with her tie-dye business, um, which I wish her all the best. Um, I just really loved her watching her haul videos in the very beginning when I started reselling. And I learned about a lot of new brands from her because this is not typically a style that, um, or a brand that I had purchased before or what, you know, knew about. And so this was one of the brands that I learned from her. I definitely remember that. I don't know how it's selling for her, but it's not selling so great for me. So when I got this $29 sale, I was happy with it um, because I have several Jay McLaughlin pieces that have not been doing that well. Uh, next up is another big bundle. So I did want to share this one as well, just on kind of like a cautionary tale. So I saw this um, girl bundling, 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 and I was like, should I say something? Because I knew it was going to end up being over the weight limit, but I didn't because sometimes people hit the bundle button maybe when they're trying to share or they just don't know what they're doing or they're checking things out or whatever. And so I didn't want to put her off and I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to say too much. So I waited and then she ended up doing the offer and then I just decided that I was going to take it and see what happened. So her offer was $260 and it included included I think three or four jewelry items which are obviously super lightweight it included several items that I was trying to get rid of like this um, top item this black basic tie front tank top because that was part of a poor boutique purchase and those did not go well so um, I wanted to get rid of that there were a couple things in here where I'm like, I'm not gonna get much for them. Like these loft tops, you know, I had them up for 19 to account for offers, but you know, you're not gonna get that much for them. So I was happy for that to go. And then um, this cardigan is a multiple quantity item. So I wanted to kind of get sales on that going. So I was like, she's got some good things and then she's got some things that I'm happy to kind of get rid of. So I felt like that was a good price. Poshmark made $52 off of the sale and I got $208, but I did have to pay for the higher label. And I'm trying to remember right now, I think it was like 7.4 pounds or something low. And there's no seven and a half pound labels under seven and a half pounds. And so I had to buy the eight dollar, the eight pound label and I was kind of pissed about it. And I forget how much it even cost me, but it was a good chunk. How much was it? It was less than $20 but it might have been more than 10. I can't remember, but I was kind of bummed. And it doesn't say on here, I thought it might, but uh, I should have looked that up. Sorry guys, but it, I, so I had to pay for the extra shipping, redo the label, um, print that out. And then in order to pack it, what did I put in? I think I might've put it in a thread up box and that I got my, my reclaims back. And so, I mean, it worked out. I made a good amount of money on it. Um, you know, I'm not losing money on anything. I I definitely got rid of some items like this Eileen Fisher dress. You know, I could have made a significant profit just on that if I had that separate. But at the same time, when you bundle it with other things that you may or may not get rid of, or, you know, you may or may not make a lot of money on, I thought it was fair. So that went well. And that's the kind of thing um, I've had a couple of questions. One I just answered this morning about bundles and the weight limit and things like that. Don't be scared of it don't completely alter your business on the off chance that somebody's going to make a giant bundle. I could probably say that I've had maybe 10 
giant bundles like this, like over $200 multiple items where I had to pay up for the shipping under 10 in the last four years. It doesn't happen often. And it, and it really can't happen for most closets because you need to have a big enough closet where they can bundle that many things. Like think about it. My closet is about 800 listings at, you know, was about 800 listings at this time. Now it's less because I sold off a lot of stuff. So, you know, she bought, let's say, I don't know how many, but she orders a certain percentage of my listings. If you only have 200 items in your closet, yes, perhaps someone could make a giant bundle off of 200 items, but likely that's not going to happen. You need to be a bigger closet for them to find that many things that they want to bundle. So just wanted to put some two cents on that because I had the opportunity since that was one of the sales this week, but that was definitely a great sale. Um, then the next couple of ones are all Eileen Fisher. It was like Eileen Fisher o'clock in my closet. <laughs> Everybody bought all the Eileen Fisher. Now, it didn't go for tons of money, but what I've been finding is that I'm putting Eileen Fisher up for $49. I'm not doing a ton of research on every single piece unless it's like a jacket or something specific, bigger, you know, more substantial items. So your basic pants, your basic tops, your basic cardigans, everything's going up for $49. And, and that price point has yielded either offer to likers at around the 25 to $30 mark where it ends up or people have been offering me in the 25 to $30 mark. And so if I'm paying $3 for this item and I'm getting 30, what am I getting off of 30? $24. Um, that's eight times the money. So I'm okay with that. Like I have to be realistic that yes, do I want 10 times my money? Do I want 30 times my money? Sure. But do I want it to sell? Yes. And the Eileen Fisher pieces have been selling really well for me. They're just selling at a price point that is not where I'm putting them, but where I'm okay to be settling at. And so I sold one, two, three, four, five. And am I going to be able to see it with this? Let's see. Six. Is that the same one? No. I don't know what just happened. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces. There we go. Six pieces of Eileen Fisher, all at the $29 mark in the last two weeks. Now, as you can see from that bundle, I sold several other Eileen Fisher pieces at her bundle price. I sold as part of the reseller box sale, several Eileen Fisher pieces. Um, at those varying lower prices. So I've sold a lot of Eileen Fisher in the last two weeks. Some of it at kind of, you know, the normal going rate, it seems like this 25 to $30 range, and then some in bundles for less. Um, but so I'm super happy about that. And I just wanted to point that out because I've heard some people like, oh, I'm not doing Eileen Fisher anymore. Maybe for you and what you're trying to do with your closet, that's not working. But for me, it seems to be working fine. I'll take 25 and $30 all day long. So that's all the sales that I have for you. I know this is a different kind of video. Thanks for staying with me. Um, I just couldn't manage the inventory spreadsheet this week. There's just way too much going on and inputting everything in was just very difficult for me. And that's the only way I'm able to get all the stats um, that I normally share with you, like the top sellers, the low sellers, all of those things. So I hope this was helpful to you. Again, I'm very excited to share with you everything that's going on. I'm going to do it on next week's video. I just need to get a few more things lined up and it's going to be cool. I mean, I'm always up to something. You guys know that. So <laughs> I'm happy that um, hopefully this new computers working out as well. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video, what you thought about the sales, how sales are going for you. I'm actually curious, is there a summer slowdown for you? Are we in kind of this weird pandemic summer slowdown? Like we don't know what's going on and things are just kind of all not normal. Um, I'd love to know what's going on for you. So go ahead and like the video as well and subscribe if you haven't already so we can hang out again. I promise that I have more really cool things coming. All right, stay tuned. See you next week. Bye. Oh, how do I stop this? I can't edit. I don't know how to stop. All right, that's a stopping sharing. Stop recording. Don't mind me, guys. Sorry. <laughs>